Bible says, into every life some rain must fall. Well, last weekend, I got on my motorcycle and I was planning to go to a motorcycle rally that was in Galveston, Texas. Oh, it's about uh, 50 or 60 miles. Well, the rain came and the rain didn't stop. And I'll tell you, when you're driving a motorcycle 65 miles an hour and you have beating rain against you, I mean, my friends, I've never been cleaner in my whole life. I, you could eat off that arm. There's not one germ there. And clothes don't stop rain at 65 miles an hour. And it stings when it hits you. Well, I decided I would opt for change. I wouldn't continue and I wouldn't go. What would I do after I got there anyway? It wasn't supposed to stop raining all day and all night. So... In that minute of time, I decided I would give thanks for change. Well, this wasn't easy for me to do because Mr. Positive was grumpy. Mr. Positive didn't want to change. He wanted to go to the rally. But I decided to opt for change, and I'm glad I did. I decided I would go to a movie. Well, the movie was a dry place. It was a warm place. It was a place where I could uh, rest for a couple hours. Well, I had a wonderful time, saw a wonderful movie. And, and during the whole time, I felt renewed because I love movies, and I hardly ever go. And I was thankful for change. Change is something that will help you to grow spiritually, intellectually, spiritually. And I ask you not to become grumpy like I did. Welcome change. And know that it is an integral part of God's plan for divine order. For instance, the seasons of change. Well, we're going through that right now. Uh, we also have that in our lives continually. Children grow up. Each day the tides ebb and flow. Without change, even love would be stagnant. For love is expansive. And it is a wonderful thing when newness comes into your life. In the middle of change, you can know one thing. God is changeless. God never changes. And what does that mean? That means that God loves you. It means that God loves you unconditionally. And even when you are facing setbacks or surprises, you can realize that you can face that with complete trust. Now that takes some real spirituality and some real faith. But more than that, it takes a remembrance of the relationship that you're in with God. That God has your back. And you know that the blessings will be revealed to you, if not immediately, over due time. Well, let, let me tell you, I knew by that afternoon that I had had an incredible blessing, able to go to the movies, eat a popcorn, and enjoy myself. Change. It urges all humankind even higher towards a better way, a better understanding, and a better world. It says in Ecclesiastes, for everything there is a season, a time for every matter under heaven. Well, this is your season, I pray. It is your time to discover your connectionship with God and your relationship that you have on a continuous basis, that you're not alone, you're not isolated. And so often when we're going through a change, we feel isolated and alone, but you're not. God is with you, guiding you and directing you constantly to your highest good. So don't struggle 
Just accept that relationship, accept that support, and realize God does have your back.